Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stadder. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. Hey, it would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, sure. let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot, lower it from there. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Okay, let's go! Nice and easy! Got it! Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff! What are you doing up there? Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay.
I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Shit! I think I hear something coming, Arthur! Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? 
Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. There he is. <laughs> Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Easy. Easy. Whoa! Take it easy, man. Easy! Whoa, now, easy, easy. Easy, boy. Easy. It's okay. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, now. Easy. It's all right, boy. Come on, Dan. Let's get you back. There. He's just where you left me. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. We ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mister... Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Warren, but a snake that spooked them. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. <sighs> yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, 
I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. <sighs> I can still hunt, fish. <sighs> Enjoy the outside. <sighs> Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit! Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. My darling, you can come out. Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. 
Damn the dad. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about kindness. It's me. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Mr. Morgan.
This is Ed. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I. You know, you and me. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. You Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady? Cow! Let's finish this! This is it!
End of the road! Okay! Ah, okay! You take the barn, I'll take the farmhouse! And remember, if he's fat and he's got a beard, he's mine! I'll try! We in the barn, and we ain't coming out till you're gone! Where do you keep your valuables? Save me some time when I'm Who's leaving. Who's in here? Come on! He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Well, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
You're done for, mister! I'm gonna make a rug out of you.
Drag him out of there by the scalp. Look back. Come on, drop him. Shit, he's right here. Put this asshole in the ground. We got you trapped now. Okay. Get back. Hey there.
Sure has been busy at the bank these last days. Barely time for a shit or a cigarette. Well, can't do much about that. Right. Well. Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? Greetings. No. Good what are you to talking you. about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Thanks. Yeah. That looks like a pretty nice horse you got there. I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? You're on, fella. All right. Let's go! You'll be all right.
You're a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is... Oh! Arthur! How are you? Never better. I see, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Manatee! Effluentous charge! Milk sap! You already said that! Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me. Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor. Good luck! Crazy bastard. Let's go try and find them. We must at once. Oh. Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? I was just thinking, it might be easier for you if only one of them was to catch my meaning. Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both equally. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. Whoa there. You can't get down. Here you are. Acrisius! What have you done? <laughs> Brother! Are you there? Acri! Huh? Is that you? Huh? I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner! Uh, it's a miracle we're alive! <laughs> silly, silly voice! You nearly died! For me! <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been! You're the fool! But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You are an earth shaker. World conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? Uh, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without no, me. Probably not. Well, you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Oh, I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's usually the way it works. Good luck.